Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, <laughs> I was watching uh, the video from last night. I was freaking out about that uh, 24 hour fitness stuff. Makes me look like a fucking maniac, but I was fucking pissed for real. You know, like, uh, I'm on probation and, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I can't act the way I, that I used to act, you know, like a, like a wild maniac, like I want to, you know, like, so I think this is going to be kind of good, like the stupid, um, these little video blogs, because then, you know, I could like kind of vent, you know, it's kind of like a diary, it's like a journal or whatever, and I'll have to freak out and smack people instead, you know, because, uh, I don't know, it's like, a, you know, it's a way of venting without smashing, so it's kind of good, and it's, it's kind of funny, you know, <clears throat> so when I watch it, when I watch it, uh, I'm like, fuck, dude, I look like a fucking psychomaniac, but that's how I get, man, I get so fucking pissed off, you know, so pissed off, but that guy was a dick, though, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that guy's problem was, I don't know what he was thinking, like that old fucking man, like, he was, like, in good shape, and, like, uh, you know, like, you know, he wasn't like a typical old man, but still, he was still smaller than me, and uh, he was old, you know what I mean? It's like, what do you, what do you think, dude? Like, like he, I swear to God, I thought he, like, like, I was kind of worried that he was going to, like, try to fight me, because I was like, fuck, what am I going to do if this fucking old man tries to fight me, you know? Uh, I don't know. He's a dick. Like, I don't know, what, what, what big deal, like, you've been going to this gym six years, so now you're, like, the gym police? Man, who cares about if I have chalk? Like, big deal, you know, you have a chalk. Big deal. It's, it sucks because like <clears throat> I'm like I I'm like I'm like the nicest guy at the oh, what the fuck I'm like the nicest guy at the whole fucking gym like for real <clears throat> I was racking all my weights like uh when I was there on Monday is like like you know if I see someone and they're not doing stuff right and they're gonna get hurt you know I'll I'll tell them like hey you doing that wrong and I'll, and I'll help them you know I'm like I'm a, I'm a, I'm really like a nice guy I'm like I have like on or off. Like, I'm super nice, but if you, if you fucking, if you piss me off, then I, I spat it out, you know what I mean? But I don't have it, like, really in between. So it's, but it sucks, you know, like, uh, like, I'm there at the gym, I am my own business. You know, like, I work out, you know, uh, I rack my weights, I don't make a mess, you know, I'm friendly to everybody. You know, like I said, if someone needs help, I'll, I'll help them and give them like, advice or whatever. You know, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Uh, why is that fucking old man gotta come up to me and, uh, you know, and like, it wasn't like he was like, hey, man, uh, you know, the chalk's not allowed here. It was like, like, he was trying to punk me. Like, he was like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah that's not allowed here. And I was like, huh? Like, I, I thought he was kind of kidding at first. I, I wasn't even sure what he was talking about. I was like, what you, what's not allowed here? Like, chalk. You're not allowed to have chalk in this gym. And the way he said it to me was so confrontational. It wasn't just like he was telling me. You know, like I said, he was, he was being a dick. And I was like, man, I don't give a fuck. Whatever, be out you know. I don't give a fuck, whatever, leave me alone, you know, and then he, then he was like, then he was like, I challenged him, he wanted like, oh, you don't give a fuck, and he like, stepped forward, I said, hey, dude, listen, I don't give a fuck, leave me alone, the fuck out of my face, I don't care, get out of my face, I don't care, you know, <clears throat> and then like, uh, you know, you know, shit escalates, but, uh, man, I was so mad last night, <laughs> I look like a psycho in that video, but it's funny, I don't care, whatever. Oh, uh, anyway, it's been a lazy day, I'm about to go train with Bruni right now, we've been kind of bullshitting all day, I don't know man, like, every, you know, you see on TV, like, fighters wake up at 5 in the morning, or like 4 in the morning, and go run like 8 miles, that's bullshit, if I had to get up ever early in the morning, I would never be a fighter, I, I hate to get up in the morning, like today I got up at 12.30, you know, that's like normal, I would, I would never want to wake up, <clears throat> fucking earlier than that, so, I'm gonna go train, look at my eye, I might as well fucked up like a bit, something, yeah, look, I got poked in my eye, it fucking hurts, that's why I think it's a good technique, you know, I think, uh, uh, like, I hate Joe Riggs, you know, so I think, if I fight him in the semis, I'm, I'm probably just gonna poke him in his eye, I don't even care, who cares, dude, who gives a fuck, who cares, kick him in his balls, I don't care, I don't care, you know, I, I've never done anything dirty in a fight, <clears throat> but also, I've never really fought anyone that, I've never really fought anyone that, uh, that, like, really 
you know, made the fight personal. Except for kind of like that Von Anderson guy. <clears throat> like, what, two fights ago in Bellator? He was talking a lot of shit, and like, uh, I mean, I beat him up. But that's just what I do. But uh, after the fight, he tried to shake hands, and I flipped him off. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't play the whole, like, hyping the fight up game. Like, I'm there to fight, you're there to fight, we're gonna fight, period. No, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever, whatever. Like, there's no reason to make, make shit personal, you know. If somebody makes makes it personal, then, then, then I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? But it's not serious, and don't try and shake my hand, don't try and hug me, don't try and be buddies afterwards, you know. And Joe Riggs, you know, he did some interview on some, I don't know, some stupid MMA crap website. He was saying my girlfriend's a whore and all this stuff, you know, like, man, you know, like, <clears throat> You can say whatever you want about me, but there's no reason to talk about someone's girlfriend or wife or boyfriend. Or, you know what I mean? There's no reason. To, why are you going to do that? Why get personal? You know, I've met Joe Riggs a couple of times, and, you know, uh, <clears throat> we got, we were cool, like, and whatever, you know. Uh, why get personal? Why are you going to talk about my girlfriend, you know, and call her a whore and stuff, you know? That's, uh, but now I made it serious. You know, now I hate him, and now I'm pissed. And they, now I want to fucking practice, like, he's an eye gouger on me. I kick him in the balls, you know, just, just to be, I don't care, just be, I don't, I don't care, who cares, if he wants to talk shit, I'll, I'll, I'll get dirty too, you know, whatever, I don't care, what are you going to do, you know, you, they always say like, uh, you're allowed to have like one foul in a fight, you know, oh, you accidentally kick him in the balls on purpose, and whatever, I don't know, whatever, anyway, I just kind of, I watched my, uh, my video earlier from last night, and, <laughs> I look like such a fucking maniac that I I wanted to make another one. So you know I'm not always a maniac. Like that was I took that video like literally. Hey, bro, I took that video literally like right when I, I I left the gym. I was driving in my car and I was pissed and, and I was taking that video when I was that's like like when I was super psycho rage, rage mode. And then you know I got home I, and I told Bruni like the whole story. You know, he was laughing. You know. But uh. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I think it's better to to freak out, you know, and vent on camera just, you know, as a outlet, you know, and, and to provide a little entertainment for people that want to watch me spaz out than, you know, to uh, <clears throat> to snap on, uh, you know, on, on some dudes in the gym, you know. Uh, you know, kind of, I'm kind of proud of myself because in, in, in the last couple of years of my temper, I still get pissed, but I'm able to not do anything, you know, like, in the past, I, if that would have been, like, four years ago, I would have slapped that man in his fucking face, instantly, no, no questions asked, you know, like, slapped him right in his face, and that would have been it, I, I don't care, I, would, I don't, there's no, I didn't, I, I had no self-control, you know, so, <clears throat> um, in the last couple of years, you know, I've really been able to have better self-control, uh, you know, partly because, Going to jail, I, I don't want to go back to jail. Jail's so stupid, dude. I don't want to go back to jail ever. And uh, partly because uh, that I've been on that Lexapro <clears throat> medication since like 2007, and uh, it's for anxiety and depression, but it's helped my temper a lot. Like I used to get road rage and stuff uh, when I was driving, and, and just like if I got in a bad mood, it would ruin my mood for like like days. Like I, my bad mood was crazy. I'd be I'd be pissed off. About one thing for a long time, so <clears throat> the Lexapro really helps me to like stop for a little fragment of a second and not destroy people, you know. So, you know, uh, I I avoided uh, seeing a psychiatrist and <clears throat> getting medication for years and years and years and years because I thought you know that was for pussies or that was weak shit, you know. But uh, you know what, man, uh, I finally. Uh, had enough, and I, and, I, and I just did it, you know, and I, I, I know I'm not a pussy, you know, there's not, there's no one tougher than me, you might, be, you might be a better fighter than me, you might be able to beat me, or, you know, in a fight or whatever, but you know, no one's tougher than me, I'm not gonna quit, I'm, I'm, you can beat me to death, like, I'm not, what, what, I'm pussy, because I, I, I went and got a, saw a psychiatrist, and got medication, and I take it, um, to me, that, that, that's just smart, you know, my, my uh, quality of life has improved, I can have more fun, I'm more friendly. Uh, I don't have panic attacks anymore. You know? It's a lot better. So, you know, if you're out there and and you know uh, you you have some kind of problem with anxiety or you know any kind of uh, you know mental thing like that, 
know, don't think you're weak if you get help, you know what I mean? That's bullshit. I mean, uh, you know, do what you have to do to, to help to help yourself, uh, you know, function better, you know? There's nothing weak about that. You know, uh, you know, there's, there's different measures of weak, you know? <clears throat> Some of what you do in the rest of your life is what's important, not, not that, you know, you know, you have a, an issue with your brain that may have happened from some trauma, you know? I, I got, I started getting my anxiety and panic attacks when my dad died when I was 13. You know, because I gave him CPR in front of me. And ever since then, I got bad panic attacks. I just fought with it my whole life until fucking 2007. I don't even know. I forget how old I was then. But, uh, 26, 27. So all those years that, you know, I could have not suffered as much and, uh, you know, I could have, uh, had an easier life. So, you know, don't be afraid to try that shit. It doesn't mean you're weak, man. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go train. But I just wanted to make another little video. I'm going to keep on doing these, uh, you know, ever so often. Just for, you know, uh, sometimes when I'm pissed, and I want to vent. And sometimes just to talk and, you know, when I'm bored. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully you guys can enjoy them and uh, learn something from them or just laugh at me or whatever. Who cares? All right, man. All right. Bye-bye.